I'd like to talk about a modulation device Ted Green uses in his Musicians Institute talk as he's demonstrating Wider Shade of Pale. I did a little video on Wider Shade of Pale this morning and then got to listening to Ted's demonstration on YouTube and decided to transcribe this modulation that I've always been curious about. That's something that you can do if you hear a line that you really like just sit and take the time to figure it out if you've not yet done so i would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content like share leave a comment and if you'd like to leave a tip for me the paypal information's in the description below i would greatly appreciate it so here we're doing a three six two five in d flat that would be F, B flat, E flat, A flat, and normally we would go to D flat. So what's going to happen is we're going to get to D flat, but we're going to get there through a rather circuitous route. So we have F minor, a tenth, that mighty interval. 8 and 9 of strings 5 and 2 and the the minor 7 leading down to B flat minor here I'm catching 6th fret of the 6th frets of the 6th and 3rd strings and then I'm getting this outer B flat here on the first string so it's three notes, but I'm getting them all with a bar. Then we do nearly the same move from F minor. Same deal, E flat minor seven, six, seven, and six, E flat, G flat, D flat. Now we get A flat seven. A flat and C, 4 and 5 on string 6 and 3, and again we're getting the outer A flat on the first string. So our ears all set up to go to D flat. As best as I can tell, somehow we switch to an F chord in first inversion. And this is going to lead to a little cycle back down to uh, D flat first inversion. He's basically done that. I've gone from three, six, two, five, and then dom dominant or major. back down. But it's a beautiful line motion. I've always wondered about it, so I sat and transcribed it today. So here's a full F over A with that important F note, which would have been part of our D flat chord. So a little substitution there. A, F, C, F, five, three, five, six. get this B flat 7 chord 4 3 3 6 and here he's not playing many notes I'm giving you the full full chord with the F here on the fourth string but it kind of sounds more like this where it's just A flat B flat and F so you know this is a third inversion B flat seven chord B flat over A flat and then he's going to exploit that motion again so this would be normally E flat over G first inversion 
it would be this, but he's leaving some voices out, so it's mostly just a bass note here, but it's it's meaning E flat major over G. Three and three on string six and three. That more or less is the sound. If you want the full chord, it's here. Then we get really hits two notes G flat C and F which would be an A flat 7 chord in third inversion but he's doing this to get to a first inversion D flat major chord down here as low as we can get it at frets 1 1 and 2 uh, what do we have we have F, A flat, D flat. So we eventually got our. We eventually got our resolution, but it came after another little cycle. So now these are the chords that are rather interesting and more or less. I don't know. Reminds me of Prokofiev or Rachmaninoff. That. Those kinds of ambiguous harmonies. So we're going to go from D flat major over F, first inversion. This is E flat minor over G flat. G flat, E flat, B. Two, one, three. And then that becomes E flat seven over G. So the bass has walked right up. G, E flat, B flat, D flat, three, one, three, two. And now the really surprising thing, he does this on his solo records too a lot, these same kinds of pulling up. It's, uh, it's also in the song, um, it's Waltz for Debbie. Yeah, I think it's in Bill Evans' Waltz for Debbie as well. D flat, E flat minor over G flat, E flat seven over G, and then really surprising, A major over E. And he's done this to get out of the key of D flat and into the key of A. So I guess all hinging on that D flat note. Yes. So D flat suddenly becomes C sharp there. It's an A triad, E, A, C sharp, two, 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 on strings four, three, two, with an E, six in the bass. And he uses that. And then he starts coming down in A. carries on. So I hope this might be of interest. It's a nice modulation trick. I'll have to work with it myself and see what I can relate it to and maybe integrate it into something. But Ted was brilliant at having modulations that were really unexpected. I know he worked on them very hard. If you look on the lessons page at tedgreen.com, there's whole pages on modulation devices. I do hope this finds you very well, and I wish you, of course, a very good day.